It is very likely your child's lunchbox is, well, disgusting, covered in bacteria. So we put them to the test. Vince Vetrano shows us what's lurking inside those lunchboxes. What's in your child's lunch? PB&J? How about a little E. coli? Chances are your child's lunchbox is an all-you-can-eat bacteria buffet. Kids want to see something fun and tasty. Parents want to see something nutritious. But only a microscope can see what's neither fun nor nutritious inside a lunchbox. Staphylococcus, which can cause food poisoning, uh, listeria. And in one study, they found about 15% of children's lunchboxes had uh, fecal matter in it, fecal bacteria in it. His real name is Dr. Charles Gerba, but he's often called Dr. Germ. So you have to remember, you're always gambling with germs. We took two tables of kindergartners, wiped down their lunch boxes with special sponges that collect bacteria, then took the sponges back to Dr. Germ's lab. Here's what we discovered. Bacteria counts from 230 to about 1,800. The tests show yellow when they find coliform bacteria, the organism that's in feces. This is the person not to share lunch with, obviously. We showed our results to some of the parents. Maisie's lunchbox had a very low bacteria count and no coliform bacteria. Her mom shared her secret. The Lysol wipes, and everyone will tell you that I am a germ freak. And yet her child's lunchbox had one of the highest bacteria counts. The thing about it, he doesn't throw his lunch away at lunchtime. Doctors say it's not as if these germy lunch boxes will automatically make your child really sick, but it's still important to clean lunch boxes with disinfectant. When washing it, make sure it dries completely before packing it with food. And another tip, use a hard plastic lunch box instead of a fabric one that can absorb germs. On your side, Susan Kim, today's TMJ4. Much to our surprise, that was not Vince Vetrano. Vinny has never looked so good. That blue dress looked perfect, a good color on him. Sorry. With 300